Hi, let's see, how to install FTPS server and how to configure it to be able to update WordPress automatically. To understand for what VSFTPD it is used let's open our WordPress administration page. Then go to the update tab and press on update to version 6.1.1 button. A pop-up will appear asking for FTP or FPTS credentials. We will use FTPS that supports file transfer encryption SSL. The FTP has no secure at all so better not to use it. The most recommended way to update your WordPress web page is to install SFTP server that uses SSH protocol or to do it manually. That will be detailed in another video. Please be informed that, this tutorial will work for you if you already watched all my videos dedicated for this, and you did all the stuff presented there. In description you will find the links to all required videos. First install the VSFTPD package. We have to create a dedicated user and users group for the FTPS server. I chose VSFTPD underscore group as a group, and VSFTPD underscore user as a user. Put there a strong password for the VSFTPD underscore user, who has access to that user, has access to all the files from your WordPress web page. Change the home directory for VSFTPD underscore user to WordPress directory. Now go to WordPress directory and change the owner of the files to be vsftpd underscore user and the vsftpd underscore group. Open the vsftpd configuration file. Go to the end of the file and paste these lines there. Then save and close the file. Now open the VSFTPD user list and add VSFTPD underscore user there if it is not already there. The take effect the new configuration, we must restart the VSFTPD server. Let's configure the firewall. We have to open the port 21 and the port range from 40,000 to 50,000. We can do that applying following commands. Because of so many ports opened, the FTPS is not a recommended method to update your WordPress. The best way is through SFTP SSH. Same port should be set as port forwarding in your router. Now it is the time to check the FTPS server by using FileZilla. If everything was okay then you should be able to see the files inside of WordPress directory.
Now let's check if the update can be made from WordPress administration page directly. First let's update the WordPress itself. For hostname put localhost then vsftp underscore user as user and your password. If everything was okay then should look like here. Please note that before to make an update of WordPress it is highly recommended to make a backup of your web page. This will be shown in future videos. Now go to plugin tab in the left and add a new plugin. When install button it is pressed then a login pop-up is displayed, so please put the same like before, and the plugin is automatically installed. Let's test now if also the themes can be installed automatically. Go to appearance tab and chose themes, then press add new button and press install button from any theme that you want to install, then a login pop-up is displayed, so please put the same credentials like before, and should work. Please leave a comment if something is missing or wrong. If this method worked for you, please give a like, and subscribe to my channel for next useful videos of how to do it in Linux Mint. Thank you for watching.